<coughs> Welcome to your boy Snow. And uh we are here live. Twenty-four hours removed from ECW's headlining pay-per-view of Extreme Rules. But we're moving on to WCW Monday Night Nitro. But we're going to kick things off with the former WCW United States Champion going one-on-one -on -one with Brett the Hitman Hart. Looking to get his title back. Welcome to WCW Monday Night Nitro. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We're live. Coming to you from Colorado Springs, Colorado. And kicking things off tonight, we got the former WCW United States Champion. Two of them actually going one on one to see who gets in, back in the title contention. And what a great way to start us off. Sit tight for singles action. We got quite the show for you here tonight. We got the Outsiders set to go two on two with the VOD Villains. Big show. The new WCW United States Champion getting called out by Curtis Axel, who is to make his WCW Nitro debut here tonight. And he wants Big Show in a Falls Count Anywhere match. We should hear from Sting for his match. And Diamond Dallas Page and Luke Harper set the main event here tonight. So as you see, we already got quite the lineup. Nitro has yet to disappoint. So let's go ahead and get things underway. Don't move. We have Mr. Perfect losing Mr. his... Perfect. WCW United States Championship to the Big Show at WCW and WWE's Extreme Rules pay-per-view. So Mr. Perfect would love nothing more than to get back into that title contention. Bret Hart would love nothing more than to get a win over the former champion. Mr. Perfect, as you may know, and you may not know, is the father of Curtis Axel. And uh, Curtis Axel is making his debut against the man that beat his father for his father's championship here tonight. That's actually pretty interesting. On a side note, in reality, this is a game, and this game just did that. That's cool as shit. And I actually didn't even think about putting Curtis Axel on Nitro when you know with Mr. Curtis Axel would fit perfect on Nitro. Mr. Perfect is just perfect for Nitro. Anyways, back to the commentary. Red Heart. Definitely proving why he's the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. Picking up a couple wins since the return of Nitro. Bret Hart was given the option to come back to SmackDown first. 
But when he found out that Nitro was making a return, he felt no better place. Especially when he found out that the rules have changed. The match styles have changed. This is pure wrestling based. So all these quote unquote superstars have had to change their styles slightly. Hello everybody, and thank you for being part of what promises. Here we go. Match is on their way, kicking off Monday Night Nitro live from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Boy Snow. What do you think of me? This one should be amazing, Michael. And Mr. Perfect looking to get a win under his belt since losing his United States Championship to the Big Show, which his son Curtis Axel will be debuting here tonight in a false count anywhere match, going one on one with the Big Show. Talk about an ego. It's going to take a lot Bret Hart, Mr. Perfect had their battles in the past, and here's a modified figure four by Mr. Perfect. Bret Hart able to fight out of it. And both these men, submission specialists, Bret Hart probably got the, the upper hand in the submission game, I would think. Mr. Perfect and Bret Hart's wrestling capabilities, I would think, semi Similar. Shouldn't see too much slugging here tonight. Probably more of a hold for hold type thing. There's an elbow, pointed the elbow right to the forehead of Mr. Perfect by Bret Hart. There's drop kick down low. Basement drop kick, then a leg drop by Bret Hart. Mr. Perfect now. Bret Hart is in full control of Mr. Perfect. And it seems like every time I seem to say that, they tend to do a reversal. So I feel like I should just keep saying that and see how that rides. Maybe I have the magic mouth. We'll see. Oh, pile driver by Mr. Perfect. There it is, the Bret Hart. That could be it, Bret. Could, Bret could be out. Mr. Perfect going for the pin. No. Scraping the boot across the face of Bret Hart and then a drop kick to the back of the head. Now Mr. Perfect in control of this here match. Mr. Perfect doesn't seem to be sure what body part he wants to work on. Hart with the sweep of the legs. Now we're starting to get a little more into the back and forth. Close line by Mr. Perfect. Bret Hart's down. Both men would love nothing more than a win here tonight. Elevate their status and title contentions. That's how we do things nowadays. Your wins mean something around here. You ain't gonna go on a losing streak, get no title shot. That's just not how it happens. You gotta step your game up. Oh, Bret Hart, jump over, swing a neck breaker. Mr. Perfect is down now. Just when Mr. Perfect was starting to gain momentum, Bret Hart stumping it. Now starting to work the leg. He's already been working the midsection. Mr. Perfect able to sweep the leg of Bret Hart. Taking a breather in the corner. Looking for a backdrop here. Huge backdrop. Bret Hart with a reversal of his own. And Hart hasn't had a championship belt in quite so many years, so 
Win over the former champion. Definitely put him away. Bret Hart looking for a pile driver of his own. There it is. Pile driver to Mr. Perfect. And that could be it. One, two, and then Mr. Perfect gets the shoulder up. Bret Hart just moments away. One, one count away from possibly getting a in the contention for the championship. There's one way to elevate your ranking is to beat the former champion. Not just the, any former champion, but the last former champion. Back body drop by Bret Hart. Thought Hart was possibly looking for the sharpshooter. Mr. Perfect shoves him away. And then Hart with the back body drop to cut off the momentum of Mr. Perfect. And right now, Bret Hart in control. It's just like I said earlier, as soon as I say that, it's like reverse automatic for the other person. Oh, there it is. Reverse by Bret Hart rolling out of the way of the elbow drop. Looking for a backbreaker. No. Mr. Perfect with the elbow. There's an arm drag into the corner. Looking perfect. Looking for it here. He's got the half half camel clutch. He's got a half camel clutch locked in on Bret Hart. Will Bret tap out? No. Bret rolls out of it immediately. Oh, catches the leg. There's the dragon screw by Mr. Perfect. Snap there by Mr. Perfect. Could he be looking for the next snap? There it is. If Mr. Perfect doesn't go for the pin, he opts to taunt in the corner. This could cost him. Bret Hart trying to get back to his feet, but Mr. Perfect looks like he's measuring for the perfect plex. Here it comes. He's hooked the leg. Perfect plex. One, two. No, Bret Hart kicks out of the perfect plex. Bret Hart has kicked out of the perfect plex and now rolled out of the ring. But immediately slid back in the ring, and now he's got the drop on Mr. Perfect. And Mr. Perfect cannot believe that Bret Hart has just kicked out of his perfect plex. Bret Hart looking for a superplex from the very top rope. Here he goes. Oh my god, a huge superplex by Bret Hart, and that could be it for Mr. Perfect. One, two, no, Mr. Perfect kicks out two and a half. Bret Hart with a huge superplex from a top rope, and it was not enough. Bret Hart now on the outside of the ring. What is Hart looking for here? Bolding cross body into the ring. But Mr. Perfect right back to his feet. Hart looking perfect into the corner. What's he looking for here? Could he be looking for two top rope moves? No, Mr. Perfect counters. Missile drop kick by Mr. Perfect. Hart back to his feet. And these two men are starting to pick things up. Hart drop kicking Mr. Perfect outside of the ring. And this is turned into more than just the rest of the match. Big elbow drop right across the bridge of the nose of Mr. Perfect. Bret Hart is taking it to Mr. Perfect now. Oh, drop kick in the corner by Bret Hart. Perfect is down. Hart stomping away at all the body parts. There's a pin. One, two. Mr. Perfect just getting the shoulder up. These two men giving it their all here tonight. And this is just the start Monday Night Nitro. The matches get much better when there's something actually on the line in every match. Perfect though, float over into the neck breaker. That could be it for Bret Hart. There's the pin. One, 
to Snow. Bret Hart gets the shoulder up. Mr. Perfect is cannot cannot figure out what it takes to put Bret Hart away. These two men have been battling for quite some time now. At least a good solid 10 minute match. They haven't had very much downtime. They've been going back and forth. Wait, Bret Hart looking for the sharpshooter. Bret Hart looking for the sharpshooter. It's locked in. Sharpshooter is locked in. But Mr. Perfect able to get to the bottom rope. Bret, Bret Hart putting that sharpshooter in too close to the ropes might have cost him. Pinned by Mr. Perfect. One, two. Bret Hart kicks out right at the count of two. Mr. Perfect could be trying to wear Bret Hart down right now. Wait, Hart off the counter. One, two. Mr. Perfect able to get the shoulder up. And these two men here falls each. Wait, Mr. Perfect. There's the knee. What can Mr. Perfect be looking for? Trying to figure out what it takes to put Brett the Hitman Hart away. Could be looking for another Perfect Plex. If he hits a second Perfect Plex, that could be it for Brett Hart. He's got the leg hooked. There it is, Perfect Plex. One, two, three, and that's it. Mr. Perfect has picked up a huge win over Bret Hart to kick off Monday Night Nitro. Here's your winner, and if that doesn't help Mr. Perfect get back into title contention for his United States Championship, I don't know what will. But a huge win by Mr. Perfect over Bret Hart. Pretty sure if Bret Hart would have locked that sharpshooter in farther from the ropes, Mr. Perfect would have been tapping out. But that was not the case. Big mistake Stay by where Bret you Hart. Are. The long-awaited tag team battle is coming up next. This is going to be good. It's Wolfpack against the Vaude Villains. Two great teams. I don't know who's going to win this one. We've got the Outsiders set to take on the Vaude Villains here tonight. Kevin Nash and Scott Hall are the WCW Tag Team Champions. Vaude Villains would love nothing more than to get a win over the Tag Team Champions. But Kevin Nash and Scott Hall have been... Wait, that's the Wolfpack song. Are they... Have they reformed the Wolfpack? They have, and Kevin Nash and Scott Hall have reformed the Wolfpack. The last few times we've seen them come out, they came out with. The old NWO theme. They were called the Outsiders. You see Scott Hall still wearing Outsider trunks. Kevin Nash has been wearing the Wolfpack colors. But we thought they were just doing that for nostalgia. Turns out the Wolfpack is back. And I guess their win... And Extreme Rules has changed their outlook on things. But who else is in the Wolfpack? That's the real question.
Here comes Aiden English and Simon Gotch, the VOD villains. Who would love nothing more than to pick up a win over the WCW Tag Team Champions here tonight. Kevin Nash and Scott Hall apparently reuniting the NWO Wolfpack. Coming out to their new entrance theme here tonight. Or should I say old entrance theme? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Scott Hall to the top rope. And this match is on their way. Belly to belly, apparently the, the wolf pack not waiting for the VOD villains to even get in the ring all the way. Scott Hall, and I don't think Simon Gotch even knows what's going on right now. Scott Hall blindsiding them. While they were getting in the ring, Scott Hall climbed up to the top rope. Kevin Nash slid in the ring as a distraction. Oh, Scott Hall. Oh, Kevin Nash looking for a neck breaker. Simon Gotch with a push. Huge uppercut. Oh, float over neck breaker by Aiden English. Simon Gotch able to get the tag. Kevin Nash was momentarily distracted. And now Aiden English. Unable to capitalize on that neck breaker to Kevin Nash, and now Kevin Nash is in control again. Huge back elbow. There's a pin by the champions. English, though. Oh, huge ducking clothesline. Kevin Nash in full control of the English. There's the tag of Scott Hall and the Wolfpack. Close line by Scott Hall. Oh, in English, slipping through the back door. Scott Hall, the, oh no, Aiden English again slipping through the back door. This time with a backdrop. Can he get the tag to Simon Gotch? And he does. Simon Gotch taking advantage of Scott Hall going after Aiden English after the tag. I don't think Aiden English, or uh, Scott Hall saw the tag to Aiden English. able to roll out of the ring English follows and could have cost him Scott Hall throwing English into the steel steps oh huge belly to belly
He doesn't want to win this one outside the ring. Because he's a pro king, he wants to get it done inside. Back inside the ring now. And again, the mind games are played. Oh, uh, taunting Aiden English. Now there's the Irish whip into the ropes and a big back body drop. There's a pin by Scott Hall. One, two, and Aiden English able to get the shoulder up just before the three count. Wait a second, Scott Hall looking for the choke slam. There it is. Choke slam to Aiden English. And he just knocked Simon Gotch off the apron. Pin on Aiden English. One, two, three. And the Wolf Pack picks up a huge win. Matadoris looking to stake a claim here tonight. Looks like Los Matadoris has challenged the wolf pack. Since apparently that seems to be how things work. should be great. It's Big Show against Curtis Axel. I think this whole arena is going to start shaking. Big Show, the new WCW United States champion. Set to go one-on-one -on -one with the son of the man he won the title from, Curtis Axel. Whose dad, Mr. Perfect, lost to the Big Show. Wait a second, there's Curtis Axel right now. Jumping the Big Show before Big Show even gets down the ramp. Oh, Curtis Axel going after the legs of the Big Show. Just taking it to show right now. Big Show hasn't even made it halfway down the ramp. And Curtis Axel jumping Big Show from behind. Axel is just going right after the leg of the Big Show. Wait a second, Big Show fighting back. Huge super kick by the Big Show. Big Show trying to take it to Curtis Axel. Tossing Axel. Wait a second, Big Show's got his championship belt. And a shot to the back of the head of Curtis Axel. Axel ducks under the second shot. Huge headbutt by Big Show. Big Show's got his belt again. Waiting for Axel to get to his feet. And a huge shot to the face of Curtis Axel. Big Show saying that's it. Looking for a full Nelson on the ramp. And a big full Nelson on the ramp. There's a pin by the Big Show, and this false count anywhere match could be over. Big Show and Curtis Axel taking this false count anywhere match to a whole nother level. Curtis Axel doing everything he can to take Big Show out. Every 
time Axel thinks he's got Big Show down. Big Show able to mount an offense. Big Show strikes. There's a side slam. And Big Show has momentum. Big Show is just dominating Curtis Axel. I think Curtis Axel will rue the day that he ever jumped the Big Show from behind. Big Show's got Axel up and dropped him down. Yeah, this could get real serious. Now the Big Show's walking down to the ring. What could Big Show be looking for here? Axel's still laid out up on the rampway. Big Show's got a chair. I don't think Axel knows. Big Show's got a steel chair. Oh, a huge shot to the midsection by the Big Show. Oh, then a shot to the spine. Big Show is taking it to Curtis Axel right now. Chair shot after chair shot. Big Show looking for the choke slam now. Huge choke slam on the rampway, and that's got to be it for Curtis Axel. One, two, three. No, Curtis Axel just kicked out of the choke slam. Big Show going after the referee now. Big Show is now arguing with the referee. Curtis Axel somehow, I don't know, maybe out of instinct or something, able to get the shoulder up. Big Show just took out the referee. Curtis Axel, though, somehow able to mount a backdrop. Axel just climbing over the barricade. Big Show definitely chasing him. Huge right hand by the Big Show. Then a right hand by Axel. Big Show is just beating Curtis Axel. Through the crowd. Axel though, headbutt. Axel blocks, kicked to the midsection of the big show. Another headbutt by Axel. Another headbutt by Axel. Back and forth between Big Show and Curtis Axel just keeps going. Now Big Show just tossing Axel through the crowd. We've seen plenty of people come back from being in a lot worse shape. And it looks like Big Show has a plan for Axel. Axel now falling to the ground. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Massive headbutt by the Big Show. Big Show is just destroying Curtis Axel. Call your friends, let them know what's going on right now in this awesome match. Right 
Officials dragging Axel to the back, it looks like. Yeah, Big Show's going backstage with Curtis Axel right now. And there they are, we got cameras backstage. Big Show now with another steel chair. Oh, what a chair shot right to the ribs. Just continue to rise. Make no mistake about it. This is a war. This is an all out war. He's got his eyes set on his chest. Big show now dragging yes. Curtis Axel's lifeless body through the arena. has been the most exciting night in sports entertainment and the action we're seeing here is a lot of the reason why look how slow he is to recover here that was some serious punishment and his second big show sees a table it's take a lot to change the tide of this one he's in full on attack mode now big show putting axel through the table There's the leg drop by the Big Show. He's begging and now looking for a knockout punch. Man, this is one of those matches. There it is, the knockout punch by the Big Show, and that's got to be it for Curtis Axel. If Axel kicks out of this, he is the Terminator. And that's it. Big Show finally allowing the mercy of letting Curtis Axel walk away from this match. Curtis Axel trying to jump the Big Show earlier in the match and just to no avail. Big Show just too big, too strong. Axel's just got to find another way out of here. He tried to get the upper hand, but the United States champion prevailing, showing why he's the champ. And we are set to hear from Sting before his triple threat match here tonight. We'll see what he has to say. He's already on his way to the ring. Not the first time and probably not the last time we'll hear from him. I know one thing. This guy talks a lot. He's not going to keep us waiting, so let's find out. Yeah, he's got something to say, all right. Here's the icon. The man called Sting. Let's see what he has to say. Let's to start with the brain teaser. I don't know if this is a light bulb. Nobody knows. They're still working on it. I know. I know. I'm not going to go back in there. My house is going to pay attention. It's not the best guy on the roster. It's about time to speak. I don't know if you notice. This thing feeling like he hasn't been noticed. Even though picking up huge wins and a loss to Goldberg, nonetheless. I don't know if the out there that are missing the idiots because they're all working here. See if there's some change for a real time on how he spends up and how that plays it. Sting talking about leaving if he doesn't get better matches, apparently. I'm going to show you. I'm looking at how long this one plays for us. Sting talking about saying he has a challenge, had no challenges here lately, even though he lost the match to Goldberg. Has been in some wars. Sting trying to say the authority is ignoring him because they just don't know he even exists. Sting saying he's going to uh, abolish the authority once and for all. Well, almost didn't understand what Sting was talking about at first. Saying he doesn't really have much competition. He's been in some pretty competitive matches since the return of Nitro. 
He did fight Goldberg one on one in that dream match coming up short. But I'm optimistic. Chaos will reign in our triple threat match. But uh Eddie Guerrero, Brutus the Beefcake Barber, who's making his debut. We have a triple threat coming up. It'll be Sting taking on two of the toughest competitors the WWE has to offer. And I don't know who to pick in this matchup. Brutus the Beefcake Barber making his return. Coming back to WCW Nitro. Eddie Guerrero, who we've already seen wrestle incredible matches. And this man, the man called Sting, who we just recently heard from earlier tonight. Sting would love nothing more than a win. Despite what he may think, a win over Eddie Guerrero and Brutus the Beefcake Barber, two huge superstars, and you can't you can't knock that kind of talent to beat those two men in a triple threat match. Here it comes, Brutus the Beefcake Barber returning to WCW Nitro. There's something I'm sure you haven't seen. Eddie Guerrero in a lowrider on Nitro. champion Sting former world champion Brutus Beefcake former champion these three men should put on one hell of a performance here tonight there's no telling who come out on top Sting obviously the favorite Eddie Guerrero easily the second favorite but the barber no slouch he has beat his fair share in his time. There's the bell. We are on the way. Match can only be won by pinfall or submission. No count outs. No disqualifications. I'm interested to see what happens here with all three competitors. 
Big Show uh, getting jumped by Curtis Axel in their Falls Count Anywhere match. But Big Show destroying Curtis Axel. Mr. Perfect picking up a huge win earlier over Brett the Hitman Hart. More still to come tonight. The Wolfpack is back. The Outsiders coming out with their NWO Wolfpack theme. So we're trying to figure out who could possibly be the other members. Means that they are known to not be the Wolfpack with just the two of them. Wolfpack picking a win up over the Vaude Villains. Eddie Guerrero on the outside collecting himself right now. The Barber is in control of this match. Eddie Guerrero sliding back in and out of nowhere with the Herc and Rana head scissors. Now taking advantage of the pieces of what the Barber's left of Sting in the ring. Guerrero could have been playing possum on the outside, just waiting for his opportunity. Looking for a fisherman on Sting. Sting counters. Sting looking for a clothesline to Eddie Guerrero, but hits the barber. Then a DDT to Eddie. Barber's back up with a bulldog. Sting though, atomic drop. Inverted atomic drop. Into another inverted atomic drop. This time, Barber's down at running DDT to Eddie Guerrero. Guerrero rolls out of the ring to avoid getting pinned. Eddie, the wise veteran. Sting, though, now working on Barber's arm. Sting now taking full control of his match. He's got Eddie up. Military press and a drop. Sting's got Barber in the corner now. Barber with the back elbow. Sting going through the back door. There's the Scorpion Death drop to Barber. And the Beefcake rolls out of the ring. After the Scorpion death drop. Eddie Guerrero though has Sting down. Sting stirring, slowly getting to his feet. Guerrero from the back drop kick off the from the apron off the top rope straight to the back of Sting. And now Guerrero looking for the three amigos. And Barber right there to break it up. But there's the jumping, spinning knee by Beefcake. And now Beefcake measuring Sting. Eddie Guerrero on the outside. Here we go. There's the sleeper. He's got the sleeper locked in on Sting. Will Sting tap? Will Sting pass out? Guerrero is still down on the outside. No, Sting with a jawbreaker. Sting escapes the sleeper hold. And now you see what Sting was working on the arms of Barber. Eddie Guerrero back in the ring. Getting in the mix. All three men battling it out. Irish whip after Irish whip. Punch after punch. Sting though with a stinger splash to Eddie Guerrero. And the Barber going right after Sting with a spinning neck breaker. Barber trying to pick the pieces of Eddie Guerrero. Guerrero with lifting the knee up. What could Guerrero, could Guerrero be looking for the frog splash? No. Flipping Sinton straight into a pin. Referee one, two. And Beefcake kicks out at two and a half. And Eddie Guerrero almost stealing one. Sting back in. Looking for a power bomb. Guerrero counters. Throw the back suplex to Sting. 
He kicks up, inverted atomic drop to Guerrero. Guerrero and Sting are down. Pin on Sting, one. No, Sting kicks out after one. Guerrero rolled out of the ring. He kicked, took advantage of one on one. Uh oh, Bobby going to the top rope. What could he be looking for here? He kicked running Sting to get up. He's up. There's a huge elbow drop off the top rope. Sting is down. Guerrero is back to his feet. Beefcake doesn't see him. There's a pin. One. And Guerrero right there breaks up the pin. And now Guerrero and Beefcake going back at it. Sting down in the middle of the ring. Guerrero. Vintage Guerrero. On the top rope. Big arm breaker. Going back to the work that Sting was doing on Barber's arm. Wait, Guerrero counters into a neck breaker. Hit on Sting. One, two. Sting kicks out at two and a half. And this is one hell of a match we got here, ladies and gentlemen. Barber on the outside, trying to collect himself. He's at least sitting up. Guerrero, though, back into another pin. One, two. And Sting again, able to get the shoulder up. Barber's back in the ring. Just resting in the corner. Waiting for Sting. And Wait, Sting looking for the Scorpion death drop. There it is. The death drop to Eddie Guerrero. Sting now. Side slam to Barber. There's the pin on Barber. One, two, no, Barber kicks out. Will Sting pin Eddie Guerrero? He hit the death drop on Guerrero, but Guerrero is still getting up. Barber now distracting Sting. Guerrero is starting to stir. Huge mistake by Sting. Guerrero is back to his feet. Sting now rolling into the outside of the ring. Barber trying to pick the pieces of a recently death dropped Eddie Guerrero. Back drop off the middle rope. And that's gotta be it for Eddie Guerrero. There's the pin. One, two, no, Eddie Guerrero still able to get the shoulder up. Sting is on the apron. Back in the ring is Sting. Looks like he might be waiting. Sting lying in wait. Barber though. See Sting drop to a hold. Pin one, two. I don't think the referee saw Barber's feet under the ropes. Sting luckily able to kick out in the nick of time. Vero stirring. Barber drops the elbow to Sting. Wait a second, Guerrero. Barber tossed over the top rope. Lands on the apron but gets suplexed back to the inside. Pin on Sting. Sting kicks out after one. Guerrero trying to steal one here tonight. What's Guerrero looking for here? Oh, huge. Double underhook back suplex. I think Sting's been busted open. Frog splash the Sting. There's the pin. One, two, three. Eddie Guerrero has picked up the biggest win of his career. A big win over the icon Sting. Man, what a contest. We definitely just witnessed one for the ages. I'll remember that one for a long time. When you put three superstars, the caliber of these guys... Eddie the Guerrero the picking the pieces. Exactly what happened here tonight. Sting busted open at some point. Eddie Guerrero with the frog splash off the top rope. Barber unable to get in the ring in time. 
match, John, we have singles action. Oh, boy. It'll be Diamond Dallas Page versus Luke Harper. Man, who comes up with these matchups? This is going to be really great. Yeah, who who has been coming up with these matchups? Because Diamond Dallas Page versus Luke Harper is, whew, that's going to be a good one. Especially since the Wyatt family has been on a roll beating the Dudley boys. Looking to pick up a huge win here tonight in singles competition. A win over Luke Harper in tag competition or singles competition is huge. The man is not unstoppable. Harper has two big victories over the Dudley boys with Bray Wyatt. could be possibly looking for a chance to go for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, by Booker T. You see the fireflies in full effect. Fire family has reached out to multiple shows. Here we go, Diamond Dallas Page versus Luke Harper. One on one main event of WCW Nitro. And here's the one time NXT. And here we go. Big belly to belly suplex by DDP out the gate. Followed up by a clothesline by Luke Harper. DDP, former world heavyweight champion. Loved up and born and to get back into the title hunt. But he's got to go through a very confident and scary Luke Harper, who has been on quite the momentous ride. Oh, Luke Harper with a big German suplex. Like DDP was trying to do some luchador shit and Luke Harper catching him and just tossing him back. Speaking of tossing him back, DDP with the push. <clears throat> Dropping the knee right to the kidneys is DDP. DDP picking up a huge win. In his return, but unable to come up with victories, but luckily un not able to be victim to the losses in his triple threat matches. Oh, Harper with a clothesline from hell like clothesline. DDP might not know where he's at now. Getting tossed by his head. Halfway across the ring by Luke Harper. And Harper now working the head and neck of DDP. Softening him up for that discus clothesline. Right back to the foot, the head region. Luke Harper just vicious. DDP trying to mount a comeback. Looking for a gut wrench. He's got him up. Right into a, a gut buster. 
DDP picking him up for the, the strength of Diamond Dallas Page. That yoga definitely paying off. DDP to the top rope. Telling Mark Harper to get up. What's he looking for here? And it gives him with the diving clothesline. Harper ran right into that diving clothesline by DDP. Luke Harper starting to stumble now. It's the battle of the diamond cutter versus the discus clothesline. It looks like his toughness is about to be tested. Yeah, well at this point, he may Harper now got the DDP in a tree of woe. Wait, DDP counters. Getting out of the tree of woe. DDP a veteran. Knowing all the tricks, but a chop block right to the knee. Well, DDP was in the corner by Luke Harper. But Luke Harper getting spun around into a neck breaker. That could be it for Luke Harper right there. One. Nope. Luke Harper kicking out after one. DDP now. Trying to remain in control. Slingshot cross body by DDP to Luke Harper. There's the elbow drop. DDP is feeling the momentum. Luke Harper cutting the momentum off with the clothesline. There's a pin on DDP. One, two, DDP gets the shoulder up. Yeah, not without a fight anyway. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Luke Harper seemingly toying with DDP. Slowing the pace down. He's doing everything he can to get his bearings back here. Otherwise, this match could be over sooner than anyone could have anticipated. Yeah, Cole, this is when you have to settle things down. Get the blood flow back in your body and strategize what your next move or your next form of attack will be. Luke Harper dropping the elbow to the midsection of DDP off the ropes. Double axe handle right to the kidneys. Harper could have been looking for the setup to the discus. But DDP with a spin out power bomb. There's the pin. One, two. No, Luke Harper gets the shoulder up just before the three. DDP measuring for the diamond cutter now. No, DDP. Discus clothesline to Luke Harper. And there's the pin to Luke Harper. He hits him with his own finishing move, too. No, Luke Harper gets the shoulder up. DDP trying to hit Luke Harper with his own discus clothesline. Harper able to get the shoulder up. Wait. No, DDP with the snap there. I thought he was going to go for the diamond cutter. Could just be giving Luke Harper the look. Keep him prepared. Well, Harper could have countered the diamond cutter, and that was DDP's counter to that. Big back body drop. There's a pin on Luke Harper. One. And Harper will get the shoulder up immediately. DDP. Oh, the boot by Luke Harper. And DDP is out cold. Luke Harper hitting that big blue And then a chop to the head by Luke Harper. And now Luke Harper looks like he's measuring for his distance clothesline. DDP tried to hit it to him. Here we go. There it is. The discus clothesline by Luke Harper. There's the pin on Diamond Dallas Page. One, two, three. And that's it. Luke Harper picks up a huge win over DDP. And Luke Harper is on a roll as of late. Booker T, the world heavyweight champion, is out here. Looks like he's congratulating DDP on his loss. Oh, 
man. That was one hell of a show. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Hope to see you on ECW coming up shortly after this. You will see the fallout from ECW's Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Quite the show for you here tonight. Looks like Curtis Axel has suffered an injury during the match with the Big Show. So we'll see what that has to do with Curtis Axel and his chances at going for the United States Championship. And it looks like the the Wolf Pack has uh, accepted the challenge by Fernando and Diego. So we'll see how that plays out. Booker T just scouting DDP. We don't know if that means DDP's got a shot at the title. But we'll, we'll see how that plays out. Thank you for joining us. And as you see, the fallout from ECW's Extreme Rules pay-per-view will be something to see for sure and if you uh didn't see that little sneak peek spoiler finn balure has won the ecw world heavyweight championship and if you know anything about universe mode those are your tag team champions the dudley boys and you're also new ECW television champion Rusev. Not sure what the significance between the Jester and Bray Wyatt being up there is, but the Jester huge match against Kane and a Falls Count anywhere. The Extreme Rules. You'll see who won that. And uh See if the Dudley boys are going to put up them tag team titles against Luke Harper and Bray Wyatt. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to follow and uh, we'll be back with episode lucky number 13.